Hello kittens, I'm Pippa and this is Pippa Jones Beauty. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, this is a place where I like to get together with you and discuss all things beauty, including fragrance, makeup, skincare, and a few other extra things. Um, today, I'm excited to do a little roundup. There's been a lot of lip products lately and I'm not gonna talk about the long-lasting lipsticks. Today, I'm gonna talk about bombs, bombs, not bombs, we're sick of bombs, no more bombs, we don't want bombs. Bombs, bombs, <laughs> no, I can't get it. Balms, bombs, chics, and shines. So the lighter of the lipstick releases um, that have been out lately. Um, but if you have been here before, you know that I like to start out with a spray of fragrance. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you're new here, welcome and subscribe too so you can join in the conversations. <laughs> uh, new from Jo Malone, woo! Ooh, spring 22, if you wanna hear my story about these babies and my first impressions and unboxing, I will link that down below. I'm not gonna to go too in depth, but there's two new ones, Sea Dragon and Bitter Mandarin. Bitter Mandarin, yes. There's also a re-promote of Silk Blossom, which I absolutely love. This one, oh my gosh. And I am still trying out these two, and of the two um, of these, they are so citrusy, so fresh, so light, so springy and summery, um, inspired by the, Sard it's called Sardinian Summer, I think? No, Sardinian, something like that. Um, and it's inspired by the Italian coast. And um, this one so far is my favorite, Sea Daffodil. Um, beautiful bottle, similar to the ones last year like this um but let's do a spray and this one so fresh it's like fresh and fruity off the at the beginning right away but then to me it gets like this kind of like bitter greenness <laughs> maybe um maybe that's like uh, uh an impression of um the spring coming up and all the greens coming up. I, I'm not sure, maybe it's the sea daffodil. I'm not sure, but oh, it makes me happy. Both of them, they make me happy because they're so light and they're so yummy. And if you know me, you know I love Jo Malone. Um, they have been beautiful. Sea daffodil, when it dried down, uh, the first day after I did my first impressions, it was just like, I kept smelling so, a couple hours later. I was like, I keep smelling something so good. Oh my gosh, and I was like, Oh, it's the sea daffodil has this warmer, yummier, dried out. But see my first impressions, and I'm gonna do a follow up with some more impressions, um, and I'll link those below. Do you like how straight my hair is today? It's the Dyson Corral. I have actually really, really curly hair, and I have to put a lot of effort into styling it. I can't just blow dry it out and use like the Dyson Airwrap to get it straight. I need this baby with its bendable plates and its cool looks. Um, it works like a charm. It's pricey, but hey, if it can get my hair looking like this, that's good. That's a good tool. Um, but anyway, on to today's roundup. Bombs, bombs, chics, and shines. We are talking about some of the new releases lately, the spring um, from some of our luxury makeup brands such as Hermes, Chanel, Chantecai, number one de Chanel. And we're just gonna kinda do a little roundup and a little comparison. Um, what do I have on my lips right now? I have the Hermes Spring 22 Limited Edition. There are four, no, sorry, three colors. A pinky one, that's what I have on my lips right now. A nudie one and Oh, an orangey one. I I wanted to play with this one first and see what it was like. I would like the other two because I really do like this, but I don't know if I'll get it in time for the limited editions, and plus they are 72 whopping dollars a piece. I don't know if it'll still fit in my budget. It goes on and it's a little bit waxy at first. It is, I'm gonna tell you the truth, and you're kind of like, huh, $72 for this waxy lightness? But, you know what? I really like it, and I really like this color. It's very pinky. It's pinky, it's bright. It's springy. 
Um, yeah, and so it's really, really supposed to be this delicate, light, um, what else did they say? Um, they said it has a melting texture. And maybe that's why I felt. At first it like seemed waxy to me, but then it was fine. And it almost, but not quite, it almost felt like my favorite Shantikai lip cheeks and lip veils. Um, but this is a nice one from Hermes. It's a beaut. See, it's very, very light. It's a beautiful shade, I think. I at least I like it on me. That's the Hermes. Next, what about our favorite Shantakai draft collection that just is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I got the first two shades, Jasmine and Freesia, right away. And I just saw on the Shantakai website that the third one, Willow, looks like it is out. And I tried to buy it this morning, but it, um, I was having issues with the um, promotion, so then I was like, oh, I'll just try it later. Um, here's the darker of the two shades. This one is called Freesia, and it's more of a rosy nude. Freesia. And the other one, oh, I just took a chunk out of that one. That's not good. The other one is Jasmine, and Jasmine is the more peachy, lighter nude. It's, they're, they're just so beautiful. When I first tried them on, I was like, well, you know, I I have so many, blah, blah, blah. I love them. I wear them like crazy. I, I just love Shantika. It's like one of my favorites. Um, the lip chic, you know, it's glossy. It's full of health care, uh, health care, skincare, hyaluronic acid, which everybody loves. Um, so we're getting some skincare and conditioning on our lips. Um, yeah, do you need to reapply them? Yes, yes, you do. You know, when we're masking still a little bit or we're sipping, you know, it's going to come off. It's not going to last four hours, at least not on me. But um, gosh, they are lovely. Yeah, we should probably do. We got our swatches here. They're all light. And the lip cheeks, they're very, very creamy going on and they stay very, very creamy. They're very, very nice. Let's do... What's that one I, uh, let's do this peachy one because I don't have too many other peaches today to talk about. Yeah, this is that Chantikai, that um, palette that you can create. I just put on my um, blushes, like Phil, uh, Phil and Tropical, no, the Phil and, why can't I say the word philanthropy? Philanthropy collection. But, um, here is Jasmine, and oh, it's so pretty. I really like that. I really like it. Um, yeah. What else? We have some Chanel, the Rouge Coco Balms. I just have one. There's so many beautiful ones. I just have my rose. You know, sometimes there's so many releases, especially right now, and they're all so pricey. You know, it's like forty. $2 all the way up to $72. You know, I just can't get them all, but I sure do like to try them out. And this one is a nice bright and <laughs> bright and cheery one too. My rose goes a little bit corally on me. It's another light one. And uh, this one they advertise as having, what kind of oils was it? It just says hydrating oils, um, but it's supposed to be a more buildable one, and I believe that. Um, a more buildable balm. It's not, um, not what? You know, it's not like the new um, Lustre, <laughs> Lustre, is that what they're called? Oh, I don't have them over here by me, but the brand new ones that um, are the long, they're like est <laughs> stray perfumes, right? They're really pigmented. You know, it's not like that one. Um, I found that one last like the longest of any sort of lip product, except maybe the Chanel one that has, you know, the liquid lip on one side and the gloss on the other side. Um, but this is my rose. In the Rouge Coco ba Rouge Coco Balms, and this one too, compared to the Lip Cheeks, is a little bit more 
waxy at first going on but nothing like it's going to be irritating and it's not like a lip gloss that's going to get caught in your hair but um you can kind of see the shades that i kind of gravitate towards it looks i think it looks a little bit wilder in the two than it does on my lips but i like this one too i wouldn't mind getting a couple more colors but again we have to see with the budget and staying within the means i mean sometimes it's just not possible but that is the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm in my rolls. Take that one off so that we can talk about another balm, the Lip and Cheek Balms. And I have four colors from number one day Chanel. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, I am obsessed with these as cheek products. Cheek products, not so much Am I wearing them as lip products? It's not to say that they um, aren't really light and sheer and lovely and they kind of go into a stain in a little bit, but um, I just, I think I just have so many other um, balms and balms that, and cheeks and veils that I haven't really used them that much. Um, but let's talk about these. Um, if you haven't seen some of my tutorials and videos and and such, um, I have been using these a ton. Um, here's the number, which one is this one? Number one, Camellia, Red Camellia. And um, I mean, look, I dig into it so much. Um, but on the cheeks, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, it is, you know, waxy and balmy in the pot, but um, on your cheeks, it just melts in and leaves behind the stain that just looks so like flush, just got done exercising. If you've seen those, you're probably sick of me saying that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. So here you go with that one. And this one, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit buttery, it's light. Um, I think that for people like me that aren't like super comfortable, um, you know, I'll, I would love to be able to wear, um, you know, reds like crazy, but kind of around where I live and the kinds of things that I do, you know, it's a little, a little bit wild. Um, for where I am. But um, this is the Lip and Cheek Balm by Number One Day Chanel. And it's very pretty. That was the number one Camellia. Um, so all of these are very gloss, you know, they're very lightweight lips. They, um, you know, need to be replenished after a little bit. Um, of the first three, the Hermes and the Chantecaille and the first Chanel, you know, all very, I think, you know, refreshing nourishy. This one is a little bit more sticky still, but it does dry down to a nice stain, which leaves some nice color behind. Um, I just haven't really used it that much as a lip product. Um, in my collection, what else do I have that kind of reminds me of these balms, balms, shines and cheeks? Of course, the Chantecaille Lip Veil. It's another one that's hydrating. It has bale balm oil in it. This is Tambodi, which is the brownie color. That's absolutely lovely. Um, you know, it's light too. Um, uh, it's, you know, got those skincare type hydrating um, qualities to it. This is another corally one. This is Clay de Peau. And it's the number three coral. And what's it called? The glow. Ooh, I need some glasses. I forgot what it was called. The glow what? Glowifier. Um, and I, you know, I've been into, you know, I've been into for bright for me coral lately. I think it's just the spring summery vibe. Um, also from Chantecai, you have the um lip tint this is summer last year what was it called lip tint hydrating balm and <clears throat> i have rock rose and i have caladula caladula maybe this one's the more ready one but these are even lighter than the veils and 
the lip chics um Chantecai. you know it's you know this one's almost like um ooh, getting tight that one's extra light you know this is very balmy very light um weight one um but these have all been um great options um lots of um good choices this spring for you as far as balms balms um chics and shines uh, let me know your thoughts do you have a favorite of these luxury brands is there one you gravitate towards most is there a new one that you would like to try out join the comments uh, comment below join in the conversation give me a thumbs up if you liked something uh, learn something and please 